Hello. On this video, I would like to give you useful information about the current electric mobility scooter. It's also called power mobility scooter. All given information applies to Germany. At the beginning, I will take you on a real ride where you will also get a feeling for the speed. During that ride, you will learn some basic details about electronics. After the ride, I will show you some equipment details. With a spacious top case and the storage space under the seat, there is enough space for your shopping. The safety switch, with which the entire power supply can be switched off, is also located here. Both storage spaces are lockable. You can see my father here at the age of 81 in real driving. He has had his mobility scooter for 6 months and has now driven about 400 kilometers. So now just sit up, key in the ignition, armrest down, accelerate and let's go. A mobility scooter is practical and helps you to lead an independent life. This is a Luxon A4800 model, which appears to be the same as some other models on the market, such as a Prolectro Equat, Ebilo AF1000, Ecoengel, Econello J4000 and definitely a few more. However, there may be differences in the maximum speed between these different models. The Luxon has a maximum speed of 20 km per hour, which is approximately 12.5 miles per hour, which I would like to briefly discuss in advance. There are currently many models offered in the weekly advertising brochures, most of them with a top speed of 25 km per hour. It should be noted, however, that with these models at 25 km per hour, you either have to wear a seat belt or wear a helmet. That means you can decide whether you prefer a buckle up or rather put on a helmet. However, if you choose a model that doesn't have a seat belt at all, the only thing left is a helmet. And exactly this application helmet or seat belt is not necessary at a top speed of only 20 km per hour. My opinion on this is that the 20 km per hour are completely sufficient. The Luxon is a four-wheel mobility scooter which, in contrast to a three-wheel version, has the advantage of being more stable when cornering. It can practically not tip over and thus offers increased safety. The mobility scooter also accelerates well uphill. Thanks to the pneumatic tires, good suspension and the adjustable backrest with a foldable armrest, comfortable driving is guaranteed. Now an important point, the acquisition costs. Current mobility scooter Comparable to the model shown are in a range from around 1,800 euros to 2,200 euros. You can order such a vehicle online or from a local dealer. This kind of mobility scooter you can get with a maximum speed of 15, 20 or 25 km per hour. Everyone has to decide for themselves whether a speed of 15 km per hour is sufficient or whether it should be 20 or 25 km per hour. For my father, the 20 km per hour is sometimes a little too slow, but doing without a belt or a helmet outwides it. Because the 25 km per hour version requires a seat belt or helmet. If you want to buy a mobility scooter, you should also pay attention to the range of the battery. This can range from around 15 to around 60 km. In other words, the greater the maximum range, 
the less often the mobility scooter needs to be charged. A range of around 50 km can be achieved with a Luxon. The lead gate battery works with 60 volts and 20 ampere hour. The charging time is about 6 to 8 hours with an empty battery. Speaking of the socket, what does the electricity consumption cost? Well, the Luxon has a consumption of 37 watt hour per kilometer. So, if you drive 100 km, you will consume 3.7 kilowatt hours. And if you pay, for example, 30 cents for 1 kilowatt hour, the costs for 100 km are around 1 euro and 11 cent. In Germany, the mobility scooter is approved for road use and must be insured from a speed of more than 6 km per hour. It is insured as a light moped. The costs are roughly between 50 and 70 euros per year. Do you need a driver license? In Germany, mobility scooters are considered to be patient wheelchair if they can travel a maximum of 15 km per hour. With this, you can drive straight away without a driver license or registration. It goes without saying that the driver must be able to move the vehicle safely in traffic, both physically and mentally and the minimum age is 15 years. Mobility scooter are for people born before April 1st, 1965, up to a maximum of 25 km per hour license free. An acoustical signal sounds when reversing. Now a few more technical details. The light or layer rims, the collar and the overall design makes the look of the mobility scooter very modern. A large footboard ensures safe sitting. Very good visible lighting, easily recognizable even at night. The controls on the left can be seen here. This is a turn signal switch including the hazard warning light function. The indicator is switched off simply by pressing the switch in the middle. Above the turn signal switch is a high beam switch including the horn which by the way is also on the right side. To the left of this is a reverse gear switch. A cup holder and a small storage compartment for essentials. A parking brake that prevents the vehicle from rolling away when stationary. This can be solved simply by briefly pressing the brake lever. Adjust the double seat back to adapt the body size. There is also a switchable USB socket for connecting various devices such as mobile phones. Under the seat, freely accessible, is a charging socket for charging the battery. The charging time is about 6 to 8 hours with an empty battery.
brief view from below of the drum brakes and the powerful 1000 watt motor. The hydraulic disc brakes and the tie rod suspension are clearly visible in the front. Here on the right side is a three stage speed switch with which the maximum speed can be set 10, 15, or 20 km per hour, which corresponds with approximately 6, 9, or 12 miles per hour. This is a light switch that is used to turn on the parking lights or the low beam. Now I would like to show you the real difference between the three selectable speed levels during a short drive. First level 1 with 10 km per hour. I drove all stages at full throttle. Of course, you can also drive more slowly at every level by applying less gas. Then level 2 at 15 km per hour. And now level 3 with 20 km per hour. Now I want to show you the lighting on a short night drive. The high beam is switched on here. I hope you enjoyed the video and helped you decide to buy a mobility scooter. I wish you a good and safe journey.